Hello, I'm John Rigdon with Nature's Outlet, and today I have Leslie Larson, the National Educator with Terry Naturally. Thank you for being with us. Thank Leslie. you for having me. Um, so, uh, I'm, this is a, a scary word, but I'm going to say it. Uh, you know, cancer. Um, there are uh, there's some amazing studies going on right now with uh, with uh, curcumin, uh, specifically BCM95 curcumin, and and um, how it can help you know solve this awful disease. Um, I had a, a chance to uh, to meet Dr. Ajay Goyle, who's doing some amazing research, and I was wondering if you could you know talk about what he's doing and also um, you know how curcumin is uh, helping us fight this this awful disease. Beautiful, I'd love to. Dr. Ajay Goul is the director of epigenetics at Baylor University in Texas, and I like to first dispel, dispel the myth of cancer is just a hereditary factor Yes. because we're rapidly going from one in 50 to one in 20 to one in two and now moving to one in one. Every single person is gonna be battling cancer at some point in their life. And so Dr. Gould spends all his time researching cancer and he'll tell you that less than 5% of all cancers are genetic SNPs and mutations yeah. that cannot be altered by diet and lifestyle. Wow. So that's less than 5% are genetic SNPs and mutations not altered by diet and lifestyle. That means that 95% of all the cancers that we're seeing today yeah. can be altered by diet and lifestyle. So Dr. Gould himself has said, forget the cure, we know the cause. Yes. Let's focus on prevention. That's hopeful, yeah. It I mean, is hopeful. Very hopeful. It is within your hands. There, there are things that you can do preventatively to help support your body in its battle. And then there's amazing research, even in the battle, of the benefits of curcumin and BCM95 and what it's doing in the body to um, reduce inflammation, reduce oxidative stress and damage, support the immune system. Mm -hmm. But very specifically, Dr. Gould has seen BCM95 awaken sleeping genes that have been turned off because of inflammation and toxicity. Yes. It awakens those genes and turns back on dye mechanisms for cancer cells. That's it's, amazing. It's chemosensitizing, it's chemopreventative, yeah. it's protecting the good healthy cells, mm -hmm. it's doing uh, work in the in the levels of micro RNA of helping with uh, the troops of cancer cells and sending a message to the entire troop and wow. so it's it is mind-boggling the benefits and what it can do in the aiding the body and supporting it in the battle of cancer yes yeah, so, I mean it that's amazing it's doing it sounds like curcumin's you know doing some really complex things to help help us fight cancer um, and uh, I think I mean I've read a lot of things where you know Keeping the immune system boosted is really important, Huge. and I think uh, you know, in, if you're fighting any type of condition like that, so. Um yeah, if, if it's doing that, I mean, that's 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 a that's a huge aid to us. That's yeah. exciting. Yeah, we've got oncologists recognizing BCM95 now because the research is significant. It is um, peer reviewed. There are published studies that are showing the benefits. That's amazing. Thank so, you, Leslie. Thank you.